Christian's day of Eid, Eid al-Adha, the Eid of sacrifice is the Eid in which we commemorate Ibrahim alayhi salam and him being put under the test of his Lord Azza wa Jal when he, Allah Azza wa Jal asked him alayhi salam to slaughter and sacrifice his own son. And this Eid is a reminder of the shukr of the results of sacrifice. That Allah Azza wa asks us to sacrifice, to literally make something sacred. It comes from the word sanctity, right? Sacred, sacrifice, to make something sacred. That this day is a day where we show happiness because of the result of the sacrifice that we make throughout the year or throughout the weeks, throughout the months, so on and so forth, throughout our lives that we celebrate that. So we say, Allahu Akbar. Allah is greater than all things. Allah is greater than any sort of pain that I may feel in my sacrifice. Allah is more, is Allah is greater than any constriction I might feel in my sacrifice. Allah is greater than the result of my sacrifice. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, That the paragon of sacrifice is Ibrahim alayhi salam. The pinnacle, after the Prophet if you want to know who is the pinnacle of sacrifice, it is Ibrahim alayhi salam. If you want to know what it means to give what is in the to give the happiness in the heart away for what Allah desires, for what Allah wants, when Allah Azza wa tells Ibrahim alayhi salam in a dream to tell his son Ismail that, "Oh my son, I am going to have to lay you and I'm going to have to sacrifice you because this is the command of Allah." And look at the taslim between both Ibrahim alayhi salam and Ismail alayhi salam. Where he says, if that's the command from your Lord, Ya Ab, my father, then do it. And you will find me from those who are patient. So Ismail alayhi salam, with the sacrifices of his father and the sacrifice of his own self, says, So tajiduni insha'Allahu min as that insha'Allah, with the will of Allah, you will find me from those who are patient. And so we're not asked to do something that grand. Allah doesn't make it difficult. Perhaps we don't have to sit through the sun for a little bit, stand in prayer early in the morning when we could have slept in on a Saturday. But that's part of the sacrifice of showing our gratitude towards Allah. The Ya Allah, throughout this year you have given me ease. And Ya Allah, I ask for your ease for the coming year, Ya Allah. I ask that whatever sacrifice I do, Ya Allah, it's not difficult on me and you don't make the demands on me difficult. And with this consistent, this consistent sabbat, this consistent, this consistency that Ibrahim alayhi salam had with his Lord, where first he had to leave his uncle. His uncle said, if you're not going to worship the idols that I worship, leave. And so he said, he left. And he said, I'm going to make dua for you. Right? So he leaves. And his people turn away from him. And eventually he has his first, his first child, Ishaq alayhi salam. And he loves him. After many years, after many years, Sara alayhi salam gives birth to Ishaq alayhi salam. And then after that, his second wife, Hajar alayhi salam, gives birth to Ismail alayhi salam. And he's asked both to sacrifice Ismail alayhi salam and leave his wife in the desert and leave his son in the desert after so much, so much difficulty. And Hajar alayhi salam, she says, is this from the command of your Lord? He says, yes, this is from the command of my Lord. She says, then I, then I submit to it. And he leaves and comes back. He leaves her with absolutely no food, no water in the desert of Arabia, in Mecca, with absolutely nothing. And she's running between back and forth between Safa and Marwa seven times with a, with, a, with a child. The concern she must have had for the child and, and for herself as well. That she has no food, she has no water. Runs back and forth until Allah sees that. Allah sees this patience and Allah sees the sacrifice. And then Zamzam bursts forth. She says, Zumi. She says, Stop, O Zamzam. Z- stop, this water, water is gushing forth. It became too much. The word of Allah for her became more than she could handle. She says, Zumi, stop. That's where the word Zamzam comes from. It means to stop. 
Zam Zam, Zam means to stop, so you say it twice means to stop twice. And Allah burst forth that blessing for her. And that well is here today from her sacrifice, alayhi salam, from the sacrifice of Ibrahim alayhi salam, from the sacrifice of, of Ismail alayhi salam. Because these people knew who they were. They knew that they were the that they were the servants of Allah Azza wa Jal. They did not forget their Lord, so Allah did not forget them. Don't be like the people who forgot Allah. So Allah made them forget them all, their own selves. That they became distracted with the perp with their objective in life. They did forgot what their objective was. They did not realize that their objective here is to be the to be the vice gerent of Allah Azza wa Jal on this earth. To be the one who brings solace to the rest of creation. They forgot that they are Ibad Allah, that they are the servants of Allah, and Allah made them forget. We need to remember who we are on the Minna of Ibrahim alayhi salam, through the through the through the, mean, the means of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi that he sallallahu alayhi wa came to clarify what the Minna of Ibrahim alayhi salam is. This tradition which is millennia old, thousands of years old, the corrective came of him sallallahu alayhi wa and we need to remember that that's the ummah that we're a part of. That that's the millah we're a part of. So when Allah Azza wa Jalla says, "Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhijat lil nas," you are the best of people who have ever come to mankind. Why? Ta'muruna bil ma'aruf that you enjoy the good. Wa tanhauna anil munka you forbid the evil. Wa tu'minuna billah and you truly believe in Allah. And that is our objective. And before we can join somebody else to the good and forbid someone else from the evil. We need to perfect our own iman. We need to be people who see the good manifest in our own lives. We need to see evil prohibited in our own lives. To become effective conduits. For al-amirun bil ma'aruf, those who command towards good and join good. Wa munkar, and those who forbid that which is evil. So may Allah Azza wa make His people who do not forget our objective. Aqoonu qawli hadha. وَاسْتَغْفِرُ اللَّهَ لِي وَلَكُمْ لِسَاءِ الْمُسْلِمِينَ يَقْوَمْ اسْتَغْفِرُوا إِنَّهُ هُوَ الْغَفُورُ الرَّحِيمُ بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ما هو لا الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر لله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر لله الحمد الله أكبر الله أكبر الله أكبر لا إله إلا الله والله أكبر الله أكبر لله الحمد our entire deen can be summarized in that statement الله أكبر that no matter what act that we do, whether it's an act of ibadah or adah, whether it's an act of worship or it's an act of our normal habit, that we first are cognizant that Allahu Akbar, that Allah is greatest. That what Allah desires from us is greater than what we desire for ourselves. So we should remind ourselves that Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. There's no deity, nothing that can enter our heart, that can take, can, that can be the center of our heart, the pivot of our spiritual heart except for Allah. La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar. And nothing but Allah. And Allah is then again greater. So we remind ourselves consistently on this day. And we show happy, happiness to Allah that He is greater than us and that, and that, that we don't see ourselves greater than something else. Because we can't trust ourselves and leave ourselves to our own devices to figure things out. We don't have, we're not al alim we're not the one who knows every particular aspect of everything there is to be known. We don't, we're not Al-Hakim, the one who has absolute wisdom. That we don't know what's best for us. So we make shukr to Allah that we that we believe Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah wa Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah Alhamdulillah. Allah Azza wa Jalla allows us to be cognizant of this reality. May Allah Azza wa Jalla allows us to be people of patience. Allah allow, may Allah allow us to be, to be people of gratitude for the blessing of Iman. And for the blessing of being the Ummah of Sayyidina Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. For the blessing of Eid. For the blessing of family. And for those who don't have family. For the blessing of not having family. For the blessing if you have children that, Allah, that you thank Allah for that blessing. If you don't have children, thank Allah for that blessing. That if you are health, if you're in health, we, we thank Allah for that blessing. If we're not in health, then we thank Allah for the, for, for the blessing of not being in health. And we ask Allah that He gives us afiyah, that whatever is difficult for us, He lifts that difficulty from us. And we realize that He is greater than us. And we say, Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Wa lillahi alhamdulillah. Wa'idikum mubarak.